So, you want to build a car like this one? Well, it's your lucky day. There's a couple of guidelines to build a car. You always have to build north, as an example. You can figure out which way is north by pressing your spray on the ground. The top of your spray is gonna be north. This is a spray of a car. The, the car's top is in that direction, meaning that direction must be north. Now go into the spawn menu and find plate size 48. We're gonna use this model for this tutorial. Place it somewhere up in the air. Now go back into the spawn menu and find transportation. Find wheel A. We're gonna use size 30 for this tutorial. Spawn four wheels. Place them all up in the air, like this. Just somewhere. All of them pointing north. Now go into the spawn menu and find make spherical. Press left mouse button make spherical on all of the four wheels. Then go back into the spawn menu and find precision. Press move and Hold E, so make sure you get the center and left mouse button on every wheel. Make sure you put them properly on the chassis. This means you make sure you get the center, so all four wheels are placed, placed properly. Like that. Now you want to move your wheels downwards a bit. You do this by finding the precision tool pressing 20 in the notch menu. Now fly above the wheel, hold E and press right mouse button. This moves the wheels down, wheel downwards a bit. Do this on every wheel. Like that. Now go to the front of your car, left click in the corner right click on the center of the wheel and this is very important it has to be center and left click again on the base prop do this on all four wheels left click right click left click left click right click left click left click right click left click now you have a simple wishbone suspension now we want to create the suspension part Go into the spawn menu and find plates. Use the one called size 24. Use the first model in the spawn menu. Do this four times so you have four plates. Now you want to angle them uh, north. So place them, hold shift and that plate f that makes them north. Do this on all four plates. Like that. Go into the spawn menu again and find precision alignment. Press mass center. Fly over to your wheel. Normal left click on the wheel. Doesn't need to be center. It already does that. Then hold shift and press left mouse button again. This creates point two. Right click on the prop. Press move entity. Right click on the ground. Press delete all. Hope you got that. I'm just gonna show you it again. Normal left click somewhere on the wheel. Hold shift then press left click. Right click, normal right click, no holding shift. Move entity. Delete all. You don't necessarily need to do the right click before doing the delete all. You just need to do it at some point so you don't have a blue prop. Doesn't really matter but it's a good idea. Left click. Hold shift left click. Normal right click, move entity. Right click, delete all. Left click, shift left click, normal right click, move entity, right click, delete all. Now you should have your wheel, your plates placed like this. Go into the spawn menu again and find precision. Go into the notch menu and press 750, then press enter. Press R on the edge of the prop. You don't want to do it in there because you might pick up the wheel instead. R. Do this on all four wheels. 
it moves them upwards. Like that. Go into the menu again. Notch menu. Now press 25. Now press on the side of the base, on the plates. Like that. This moves them inwards. Now go into the spawn menu and find precision alignment. This is an add-on. You will need to use this for this kind of car. It makes, it makes you use less moving props. Make sure you have mass center on. Now you just hold shift down, then press mouse 1 on every wheel and every flying prop. Like this. Mouse 1 and mouse 1 while holding shift. Just like that. Go over to the main base prop thing again. Right click so you make sure it's blue. Now notice that every one of these props uh, have a point. This one is number 2, this one is number 4, this one is number 6 and this one is number 8. Go into the spawn menu again, press point 2 and press attach. Press point 4, attach, point 6, attach, point 8, attach. Now see all of these are attached to the base plate. Now you want to go into the spawn menu again and find plates size 30. Place it somewhere up in the air like this. This is the place where we are going to place our wire hydraulic controllers. Go into the spawn menu again, find wire hydraulic. Winch mode should be off, fixed should be off, in out speed doesn't matter. Width is going to be 1 for this tutorial but it doesn't really matter either. Now, take a hydraulic between point uh, 1 and point 2 and press it somewhere on here. Do the same for this wheel. You have to do the same for all wheels. However, you have to make sure you know which controller controls which wheel. So I'm just going to place them uh, representing the wheels like this. So I know this one is left front wheel and this one is right rear wheel. Now go into the spawn menu again, normal tools and precision alignment. Right click on this wire hydraulic controller. This represents point 1 and point 2. Press R, press constraints, now find wire hydraulic. Width should be 1, but it doesn't really matter, I'm just gonna use 1 for this tutorial. Find point 1 and point 2. Now press create constraint. This creates a constraint between the wheel and somewhere up here by the prop. Here comes another important thing. Right click on the next pod controller. This one represents point 3 and 4. So you want to go into this menu, find 3 and 4, create constraint. This one over here represents point 5 and 6. So you want to use this controller find 5 and 6 and press create constraint. This one over here is 7 and 8 so you want to find the one that represents 7 and 8 go in here 7 8 create constraint. Right click on the ground and that's all there is to it. Now you can go back and press the lead all. Then you can find the remover tool and remove these props you don't need them anymore. As you may see the hydraulics stay in place in air now you want to go into the wire menu and find constant value. Make sure you have two amounts. One should be 50,000. The next one should be 1,500. Now press it somewhere on the base on this plate. I'm just going to place it between the wire hydraulics so we make so we are sure that this controls the hydraulics for the wheels. Go back into the wire menu, find wire advanced wire constant to the 50,000 value, do this on all four wheels, do damping to 1,500 on all four wheels, like that. Now you want to check what your length is. On this tutorial it's about 23.29. It may vary a bit from people when making their cars, you just want to make sure you know that the hydraulic length is 
on this car 23.29. Go into the button when menu in wire, make sure value of is 23.29. Value on should be something larger than whatever the wire controller is. In this case it's 23.3.29, uh, uh, so we're just going to use 26. Place the wire button somewhere here. Wire length to the buttons out. Like that. Go into the spawn menu and find wire. Then find expressing 2 and find the E2 setting steering that is inside the description of this YouTube video. Press it on the ground and place it up in the air like this. In the wire menu, find the tool called Entity Marker. Just place it on this prop. Right click with Entity Marker on this, then on the base plate. This links the wire Entity Marker to your base plate. Go back into the wire menu and find Wire Advanced. Press Chassis Entity to this one's entity. This is so the uh, Expression 2 knows where your chassis entity is. Now go into the menu, find pod controller. It used to be called advanced pod controller, but it's not anymore. Place it on there. Then go back, find wire advanced. A goes to pod controllers A. D goes to pod controllers D. Now you want to find uh, the tool called ball socket advanced. You'll have to use the settings you see here. Now you want to go to your rear wheels Press on the center of the wheel to somewhere on the side of your base plate. Do this on both rear wheels. For the front wheels you want to take the left front wheel to the left side of your E2 and the right wheel to the right side of your expression 2. This is a good time to take a copy of your car. Now we want to weight the car. The base plate should be about 850, however it can be whatever you want. You can always adjust the hydraulic settings over at the constant value. The wheels can be 100, but I normally use 250 kilograms on the rear wheels and 150 on the front wheels. The more the weight, the more the grip. Now you want to find yourself a seat. You can do this by pressing vehicles, chairs, jeep seat. You just want to place it somewhere on the car. Weld it to the base plate. Go into the wire menu and find pod controller again. Right click on the pod controller, then right click on the seat. This links the pod controller to the seat. Now you want to slowly unfreeze your car. Start by the front wheel, move it up and down. Make sure it's properly seated, meaning it cannot move forwards or backwards. It just needs to move up and down, like this. Do this for every wheel on the car. That works. Unfreeze the seat and unfreeze the base plate by touching it. Place the vehicle on the ground. Now you've got a moving chassis, which works perfectly. You normally want to uh, make your car move by either ACF, Expression 2, something similar. Just something that moves it. However, for this tutorial, I'm going to stay neutral. I'm just gonna use a normal thruster, just to see if it works. The weight just to make sure it's actually powering it properly. So let's see if it works. And it works perfectly. So now you have a moving chassis. Here's an important last top tip. When you want to freeze your, when you want to save your car, you'll have to freeze it in place to make sure everything is gonna save properly. Just right click on everything, make sure it's frozen, like that, or use a simple and easy method by no colliding all of it, with the freeze or unfreeze ticked on. Hold E, hold left mouse button, this chooses it all, then press right click, this freezes it all. And there you go.